Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of installation videos. In this installment, we will be replacing the battery in a first generation iPhone with a newer technology's new power replacement battery. Please note, this is a very complex and complicated installation and not at all recommended for do-it-yourselfers. We encourage first generation iPhone users in need of a new replacement battery to please allow other world computing at www.maxsales.com to service your iPhone battery replacement needs. To begin, please turn off your iPhone by holding down the on-off switch at the top of the iPhone until you see the slide to power off option. Now slide to turn your iPhone off. Now remove the SIM card from the iPhone. To do so, use a small paper clip, straightened out, and insert one end into the small hole on the top of the iPhone, not the headphone jack. Push gently and the SIM card should pop out. Using a nylon pry tool, slowly separate and create a gap between the black plastic antenna cover and the iPhone on one side. Now use a second nylon pry tool to widen the gap and release the very delicate plastic clips that hold the cover in place. You should hear a few loud snappy sounds as the clips release. Repeat the process on the other side of the black antenna cover. There are two clips between the dock connector opening and the black plastic antenna cover. Use your nylon pry tool to gently pry them open. Once all the clips have been separated, remove the black plastic cover and set it aside. The next step would be to remove these three screws using the small Phillips screwdriver provided with the new power iPhone battery replacement package. Please note, do not use much pressure on these screws so as not to damage the iPhone case. Set the screws aside. Using your dental pick or similar tool, you will need to release the clips located here, which will cause the back of the iPhone case to slightly separate from the front. Now. Using your nylon pry tool, slide down between the front and the back of the iPhone to separate the clips. Once you have done so, slightly wedge your nylon pry tool into this opening to keep the back of the iPhone from reattaching to the clips. Now repeat the process for the other side of the iPhone, noting that it will be more difficult to separate the two sides because of the added pressure of the nylon pry tool keeping the other side of the iPhone apart. Once separated, run your nylon pry tool around the top of the iPhone case to release the clips there as well. Once the back cover has come loose, do not remove it, as there is a small ribbon cable that connects the headphone jack to the iPhone motherboard. To remove this cable, use your nylon pry tool to carefully work it out of the socket. Do not put pressure on the delicate cable. Use a gentle prying motion on the connector at the end of the cable. Now set the back of the iPhone case to the side. The next step is to loosen the battery. Be very careful not to damage the very small and delicate antenna cable here, as damaging this cable will render your iPhone useless. Also take special note of this area. This is the power, ground, and battery charge indicator connectors. If these are damaged at all, your iPhone will be completely ruined. Stay away from this area with your nylon pry tool. The battery is glued down, so use your nylon pry tool to slowly and easily pry it loose. Warning: Do not pry up on the battery over the antenna cable. The old battery will get a little deformed as you slowly and carefully pry it loose from the iPhone. This is natural. Once the battery has come free of the iPhone case, do not pull it free. We will first have to desolder the wires from the old battery leaving the wires connected to the iPhone. We will use the old wires with the new battery. The first step in removing the old wires from the old battery is to use a dental pick to peel back the plastic-like epoxy and battery sleeve so that we can expose all three wires that are soldered to the battery. Once you have exposed where each wire is soldered to the battery, you will use your soldering iron to reheat the old solder joints until you are able to disconnect the wire. Repeat for all three wires. You may need to use tweezers to move the wires around. 
Once the wires have been disconnected, set the old battery aside for recycling. We will now prepare the new battery to install in our iPhone. Delicately peel back the tape from the area around the wires on the new battery using your dental pick. Please be aware that there are hidden wires just underneath the tape that you will be peeling away. Do not damage any wires underneath the tape. Once the tape is out of the way, heat up the solder joint so that you can safely remove the wires from the battery. Pay special attention to note which colored wires goes where. Once the wires have been removed, you will want to add a little solder back to the battery so that you can attach the old wires to it. Please do not use too much solder, just enough to connect the wires to the battery. Now set the new battery in the iPhone. Do not push it down into place just yet, as we still need to solder the old wires to the battery. The old wires may not reach the new battery solder point, so you may have to flip the battery around and put the contacts closer to the wires, as we have done here. Now reheat your solder joints and connect the correct corresponding wire. Once the wires are connected and the solder joints have cooled, Push the tape back down into place. The tape is to ensure that no part of the battery connectors come into contact with the iPhone, as it could cause the battery to short out. Now push or slide the battery back into place, making sure that the battery wires are tucked in and not sticking up above the battery, or the back of the iPhone case will not sit flush. The next step is to replace the back cover of the iPhone. Be sure that the metal sides of the back cover are straight. If not, Gently bend the edges back straight before attempting to place it on the iPhone. Connect the ribbon cable on the back of the iPhone case to the iPhone's motherboard. Starting at the top of the case, make sure the headphone jack and the sides line up correctly. Now, snap the sides of the iPhone together. Now replace the three screws inside the iPhone. Do not over tighten these screws or use any downward pressure while screwing them in. Now slide the black antenna cover back into place, making sure that the clips are all lined up correctly and not bent out of place. Reinstall the SIM card by sliding it back into place. Power on the iPhone. Also, connect the iPhone to the dock cable and make sure that it will take a charge. You have successfully replaced the battery in your iPhone.